What is up, Humanoid Nation? So today's reaction is going to be by Sunny V2. He does a lot of like uh, YouTube channel people, like what happened to them. Uh, yeah, that's mostly what he does. Uh, today's video is uh, only J, J. Sorry, I don't know if her name is only Jus or only Jus. All I know is from her, all about her is she's this TikTok star that does these. Uh, did you know you can do this stuff? That's all I know her from, so I'm going to go in blind, and I have no idea what she did to be the most hated creator. But we're going to find out today. Let's do this. In my past, I said disgusting things to people, and I am so ashamed of myself for using racist rhetoric, and I am so sorry to everyone, but especially to those in the black community, because only you guys can forgive me for this. One of the worst I've ever seen. She definitely took notes from the other crappy ones, is how a YouTube comment described only JS's public apology following just one of her numerous different TikTok controversies. What is going on with you white saviors that keep trying to defend JS for saying N-word lover, bro? You must say it too. This is what makes only JS's story unique. Despite having incredibly uncontroversial content, if you're at a house party, no, he's had one video. You don't hold it up here by your chest. Try to hold it more down to Towards your hip. This will make you seem more open and confident, and people will be more willing to come up and talk to you. She's found herself in a big That's scandal of true. political TikTok battlefield every couple of months for the last three years. At this point, people of color should not be following only JS. Why is only JS more prone to getting involved in these types of controversies? Is what did she do, do to the black community, man? Of her? I barely text my family back, and I just had to move apartments because my address got leaked, and you're gonna throw a fit? I didn't make you my priority! After a petition to ban only JS from TikTok garnered over 400,000 signatures, God, it's sad to say that she's a contender for the platform's most hated creator. And while such a title seems unfair without any further information or knowledge, as we go through explaining how this hatred came to be, the reason for this title will become blatantly obvious, and it all began with a tweet made by only JS on the 9th of April 2020, just 12 months after she began posting videos to the website. I constantly feel like nobody actually likes me, so when I see thousands of hate comments saying, yeah, I never liked only JS. She's so annoying. JS seems like a horrible person. That pushed me to the That's edge. That's it? What the harsh that and possibly even backwards reality of life is that those who acknowledge and complain about hate only end up receiving more hate. In the beginning, um, only JS okay. likely received a pretty standard amount of negative feedback. We all get negative feedback. Annoying delivery as you just gotta live with it. Tweet. Not so everyone's gonna like, like you on the internet. She really struggled to ignore criticism and always seemed to give way too much attention to any situation in which there was some kind of negative Negative sentiment against it's gonna say like we're on the internet you're not everyone's gonna like you you're gonna have a lot of people hate on you they either don't like you for some reason or they just want to troll you or get some kind of reaction from you but she's making it easy for these people to hate her even more because she's talking about it hey you're on youtube you're gonna get haters not well not haters people don't like you that's not the word. There's some. Not everyone's gonna like everybody. Everybody. That's what I'm saying. Name. It's gonna be a running theme throughout this whole video. But it started with her simple inability to ignore basic negative comments, such as "Yeah, I never liked only JS," which is a pretty tame comment, giving her a foundational reputation as someone who would crack if you simply applied enough pressure. Yeah, she later, cracked. Her reputation as a creator who would respond to negative criticism will continue after only JS discovered that another creator by the name of the Jonathan Moss had been copying some of her videos word for word. Did you know that your birth month actually has a huge effect on who you are as a person and the things that could possibly happen to you? Yo, did you know that your birth month actually Oh, damn, dude, that's savage. ...and the things that can happen to you in your life. People born in March are way more likely to have asthma, and I can actually speak to this one because my little sister, the only one born in March, has asthma. People born in March are actually more likely to have asthma, and I can speak to that because my cousin, the only person born in March... Has asthma. Only Jazz would respond to the copied videos in a tweet reading, TikTok creators should be called out when they copy other TikTok creators' videos word for word, alongside a video calling out the Jonathan Moss. Yeah, but you don't do that in... There's no such thing as that on YouTube, I think. Google. And like, as a result, result, like if you, if you cheat off a test on university, you get fucked. She was in the wrong for copying the information but YouTube doesn't Google. care. This information is from a website. Why are you copying a copier? Copied from Google then complains when others do the same. Which Business Insider article is this from? 
I love the guy's name is Ho. a bit of an injustice being done here. To state that her information was invalid because it was found on Google has got to be one of the dumbest arguments ever made. What did they expect her to do? Find some old 1850s foundational manuscript covered in dust at the National Library and take her facts from there? Jonathan Moss had clearly copied her videos word for word after Only JS had posted them originally. Yep. And there was no doubt about who copied who. However, Only JS was still painted as being in the wrong for one simple reason. They knew they could get a reaction out of her. Yeah, they could get a reaction out of her. Pressure which they eventually would. After receiving hundreds of negative comments on her response, only Jace would take to Reddit stating, he said that he found it on Google, which I mean he did, but only after watching my video. I'm now getting a huge amount of hate, people saying I'm lying. I copied Google too, I'm problematic. Uh, canceled, pe people on internet like to start the shit. They like to start don't shit. To do. I don't think I've done anything wrong. Maybe you do, but honestly- The I internet, man. It. It's the internet. Now you probably wouldn't go so far as to say that only Jace was playing the victim, but she was once again complaining about the circumstances that she she had found herself in. And to reiterate the point from earlier, complaining about hate doesn't make it go away, but rather amplifies it as the audience will look for increasingly petty things to berate Yeah, the most With pettiest mind, of things. It's barely surprising to find out that approximately six months later, an old message will be dug up in which only JS had said the N-word, taking center stage as her brand new colossal sized controversy. I love you no matter your sex, your gender, your sexuality, your faith, or your race. I guess that didn't age well, because this you at the bottom calling someone the hard ER a word. Oh, God school. damn. People. That's how it happens. People with savior complexes, bro. I feel like it's always a second agenda behind. When you get the hard ER years in there, old, holy you shit! Years old when you said it. The other day, Addison was cancelled for old BLM tweets from 2016. Let's see if everyone keeps the same energy. You're a role model to 10 million people, bro. I hope things get better, and I hope you educate. There were a couple of comments in support of Only JS, however, as a whole, and understandably, the response was mostly negative. All these white people saying, it happened four years ago. Literally, it doesn't matter. She did it and needs to take responsibility. The hard ER, she's done. And <laughs> Only JS, you got caught in 4K. The best way that JS could have responded to this expose would have either been no response at all, or a short, cool, calm, collected, unemotional Be calm and collected. video. Alternatively, she's gonna freak out, isn't she? Curveball and simply said, I'm not sorry, which would have actually been respectable as it's a hundred times harder than simply getting in front of the camera and blurting out some pre-written stupid script with the goal of suppressing the criticism. Logan Paul, term. so However, sorry. A track record like only JS, obviously she did none of these and rather posted a long emotionally charged scripted generic social media apology, which felt as though it was designed to trick the audience into coming away with a specific feeling as is usually the case with these types of public apologies. It looks like she's and been crying no for hours. There are no justifications for what I said and you guys deserve better. And when I first saw the screenshots, I didn't even think that they were real because I forgot how hateful and how angry of a person I used to be. Another well, we all used to be dumb fucked guys, back in our youth. To the we say some shit. Sincere, and that the apology was simply I'm pretty sure I said some things I when I was young. I don't remember half the shit I said. Conversation with JS about this situation. She seemed pretty sincere about how sorry she was. Uh, again, like I said, I thought she was being genuine. What she produced was rough. It was less than stellar. Others such as Freak the Gemini were less optimistic. You literally hit us with a Playboy Cardi album. All that suspense just for it to be trash. The worst insult you could tell somebody was liking black people. Wow. With yeah, being I shared like black people. Platform, God that damn. Only JS would also lose all of her sponsors, as well as a Netflix podcast she'd been hosting by the name of Know It All. At Tinder, he has a Netflix Addison, podcast? He has a Netflix podcast. Everyone needs to tag at Netflix. Netflix has cut ties with Jayus. Big dubs. Only JS was clearly feeling the pressure and understandably wanted to make things right with her audience. So she'd end the apology by stating that she wanted to share my platform with some amazing black creators who are going to tell their story to try and educate others on the trauma that happens when we use this kind of language. Which would eventually result in her and another African-American content creator by the name of Aunt Karen agreeing to collaborate on Only JS's channel. In addition to this, two weeks after the apology, Only JS would go to the effort of posting a video talking about how she had read a book on anti-racism. <laughs> Read a book about anti-racist. Anti-racist by Dr. Ibram Kendi, and this how would push what? readers that think that they're not racist into being something better. To First of all, why would you need a book not to be racist? That's the most racist thing you can do. Hey, I'm not racist. How so? I have this book out to not be a racist.
You're fucking racist. But she did acknowledge that it was a grift in the title, stating, I know it might come off as performative talking about this at the end of Black History Month, but I'm trying to just educate myself and use my platform for good. However, her You're only digging yourself into a bigger hole. Lies. I bet after this video, she just tossed the book like it's nothing. That seems like an amazing book for you, but I think you missed some pages. Maybe you missed a few chapters? Read it again. But hey, at least <laughs> she was still in the process of sharing her platform with some other black content creators as she promised, right? Well, no. So this message is for you only, Jay, after your whole inward debacle said you want to collaborate with me we email and suddenly you've dropped off the face of the earth are black people just tokens for you to use when you're ready to play if you were really truly sorry about what you said you would not have lied and said you were going to do something you clearly aren't trying He's to speaking do. The speaking facts. Essentially facts. Outlined that after agreeing to collaborate, only JS would ghost this creator by the name of Aunt Karen once everyone had forgotten about the drama. Now to only JS's credit, Aunt Karen's callout was even more pathetic than JS's original apology. Because setting up a collaboration with another creator can be incredibly difficult. There's always problems relating to difference in content style, difference in schedule, difference, yeah, difference in, in schedules. Zone, the problem of coming up with a video idea that will be a hit with both audiences, what part of the script do I allocate to the other person, etc, etc. Yet Aunt Karen's argument in the callout was, because only JS ghosted me, she's therefore a racist. Why not just be racist? Just say you're racist. Just because you're ghosting her racism in doesn't mean you're racist. Yeah, who knows? But it's still a lazy, low-hanging fruit argument yeah. designed to create drama out of the highly likely reality, being that collaborations are just incredibly difficult to set up successfully. Sorry, but that's just kind of dumb way to think. You think she's racist because she goes to you? Okay. In addition to this, a feature on only JS's page with over 10 million followers is going to cost a brand probably hundreds of thousands of dollars. And despite only JS offering one of these spots to Aunt Karen for free, Aunt Karen still seemed to narcissistically think that she was the one providing only JS with the opportunity. I really gave you an opportunity. I really said, you know what, Aunt Karen? Let's see what she has to say. Let's see how we can mutually help each other. Aunt Karen's call out was entitled and poorly thought out, but not invalid for one simple reason. Only JS made a promise. There are obviously exceptions, but most of the time, if you say you're going to do something publicly, you have to follow through with it or people are going to notice. JS yeah. managed to discuss the ghosting in an Instagram voice message. I do agree with that. If you do make a promise, you got to go with it. Like I made some promises in my time. I didn't go through with a lot of them. I forgot why, but it must have been a reason or there was no reason, but Back when I had my dickish days back in high school, yeah, there was no reason. But now, yeah, I do promise something and I can't do it. Like, there is a reason. I just don't know what it is yet. For basically ghosting you, I didn't mean to do that. I just have a very chaotic schedule and ADHD on top of that. So I genuinely just forgot. It, it wasn't me trying to ignore you. Um, you could have just hit me up again, but instead you decided to go public and try to add public pressure onto me, and that's not cool. So I don't want to collaborate. Which will once again receive a response from Aunt Karen, explaining that she had emailed only JS multiple times with no reply. You're gonna put it on me? In your voicemail, you said I should have emailed you again? April 4th, I emailed you. How many times do you expect me to message you caught in 4k continuously ghost me internet now, drama probably you gotta love it that and the drama would have been over not really weeks however as papa gut said most accurately for whatever reason js doesn't know how to just stop like when somebody criticizes js js responds and that's the worst thing and in classic only js fashion she'd post another emotionally charged response to the drama today's episode of what are people mad at me for now not checking my email in a timely manner. I wish I was joking. Forgot He's to gonna to snap and kill somebody one day. With me. And you if know, this is like, make, if this is a breaking point. Videos about it! Can you please leave me the f*** alone? I have a diagnosed neurological disorder that makes me forget things and procrastinate due to time blindness. I forget to eat. Time blindness. We mentioned earlier that the God more damn, she's on a breaking point. Jay she's kind of losing one day. The more she'd be held accountable for increasingly petty incidents. Well, after this explosive response, the things that her audience would call her out on were taken to the absolute extreme. For example, she would post this video. You can get your letters delivered for free without any postage if you just put where you want it to go on the return address instead of where it's actually supposed to be. Which would get the post office activists involved with comments such as, yes, please encourage people to do activities that cause the already failing post office to lose more money. 
or when she posts this video saying nothing more than what degree she did. So I got my college degrees in math and computer science, which means that I was never really good at writing. To receive comments such as, I thought you would have majored in saying slower science. Oh, However, shit. it eventually got to the point where only JS couldn't even make jokes anymore without being cancelled. Seriously. On the 23rd of May 2021, only JS would post the following video. If a service dog ever approaches you, but they're alone, that means that their owner is in trouble and they probably can't move, so you should follow him. Cause you'll get a free wallet it was clearly a light-hearted joke summed up in comments such as she that's pretty that's kind of pretty funny a little bit yeah something bad obviously she wouldn't take a wallet and probably knew that most people would yeah, Bro, it's a joke. Get this is a joke y'all are so sensitive however sensitive. the rest of her audience simply saw yet another opportunity to put only js through another period of hardship can't believe this is still up it's obvious that it's a joke but some people may still do it it could start a trend what you post on the internet reaches so many people and some of those people may be inconsiderate or apathetic towards others and do something wrong as a joke that highly affects another person. Take some YouTube and TikTok prank channels for example. When is it going to be enough to say only JS is not a good creator, should not be followed, and should not be listened to? My child, they are a. Oh, that's her dogs. mother. Okay. This is not a kind of joke you want to be putting. You got your there. mother it's to speak to the internet? To anybody who uses a service dog. With all this in mind, the petition with over four hundred thousand signatures. To oh, you got your mother to talk to you about the internet. Oh my god, okay. Have only JS banned is barely a surprise. She dug herself into a hole by displaying an inability to switch off from the audience after being involved in scandal after scandal after scandal. Sometimes criticism from the audience is genuine and can be spotted easily because it's worded in a constructive way. But a lot of the time, without them even realizing it, people write mean or critical things just to see mm. if you're the type of person to crack, respond, or apologize, as has mm. been the case throughout only JS's entire TikTok career. She's been tested over and over and over, yet has been unable to switch off and let things go whenever she's been put under pressure. As an end result, there's not only a loss of respect, but also a never-ending freight train of negativity and hatred. Alright, interesting video. Only Jay is, but goddamn, she's been through a lot. Like, I get it, she did the hard ER. That's not good. <laughs> because you got, that shit is not to be played with, but her, like, talking about it constantly is, like, getting people on the internet to keep, go even harder on her. Like, I mean, she's doing it on herself, too. Like, it's part her fault that she's talking about it. And I guess I get that she gets a mental condition and she's freaking out. Like, she's almost at her... From the video I saw, she's, like, at her breaking point. I swear to God, one day she's going to snap. But yeah, <laughs> I hope she's good. I hope she's on medication because, like, I'm just hoping she is on medication to help her out with all this stuff. But that's enough for me for now. I'll still watch more of her video. She's a she's. I enjoy her content. But anyways, that's it for now, Human Nation. Human Eye Freak Out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito, nos vamos pegando poquito.